That is the sound of the jar of names. Well, actually, no, this is the other jar of names. Go pick out a name. It's getting rather very full. Soon we'll have to swap the names back over. But this video is for everyone, including but not excluded, to game over. Right now. So, welcome to a cup of tea in a podcast. This is the cup of tea, which is cold. Ah, and this is the uh, podcast. Ooh, that cup of tea is a bit nasty. I think it's because the spoon had a uh, hot chocolate stuff on it because someone had a hot chocolate before I made it. And uh, that tastes a little bit fun funky. Anyway, you can go down to my comments if it's there at the moment. It might not be there at the moment. You can go to my skip list. You can skip to this week's update, this week's topic, this week's TV time, this week's question, and this week's goals. Update is first. We're going on to that now. So then, what do we need to talk about? We need to talk about a new Let's Play. Uh, yes, so it's not out yet, unfortunately. So the Mention Monday did not have people that commented on this video. But the last Bioshock 2 episode is being uploaded right now. It's now at 54%. By the time you see this, it'll already be out. But that is now done, so now that we've got a Let's Play that's finished, uh, obviously new things are going to be happening. Oh, by the way, I've got my fan on, because it's very hot at the moment, so I'm not turning it off, because I want to see how it is in the recording of the audio, because maybe my noise removal will take it out, or we'll see. Anyway, yeah, that's BSO, new Let's Play starting now, then. so what's going to happen? So Azura's Wrath was on Tuesday and Thursday, it's in Game 2's slot, so now that we've finished Bioshock 2, which is in Game 1 slot. Bio, so Azra's Wrath will now become Game 1 slot, which is Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And that's obviously three episodes a week instead of the two, so you get extra footage of it. So that's going to happen with Azra's Wrath. That's going to be now out on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And then we'll have a new Let's Play on Game 2 slot, which is Tuesday and Thursday. And what game is it going to be? It's the one which I do every sort of three or four games time. It's the new Assassin's Creed game, and this one is Assassin's Creed 3. Surprise, surprise. Uh, yes, not my particular favourite Assassin's Creed, but it's not one I've played the most, if I'm honest. There are some things I hate about it, which you'll see next week, not this week, next week. Um, but yeah, it's okay game. It's still, it's still good. It's still Assassin's Creed. It's still good. I like it still. But yeah, that's going to happen. So if you're not going to watch it, then uh, obviously I'll see you in another adventure that we start. But if you're going to be watching Assassin's Creed, then obviously I welcome you to the adventure. We shall go together. Um, I will say Azra's Wrath is not going to take long to finish at all anymore as well. So... New Let's Play, if you don't like Assassin's Creed, will probably happen two or three weeks' time, which you might like that one instead, but anyway. Yeah, so that's going to happen for that one. Um, obviously, after this, there'll be a new a next Let's Play video, which will obviously say it's Assassin's Creed 3, and announce it in a bit bigger way. Um, that'll probably be out after this, or maybe before this, actually. I haven't decided yet. Maybe you've already seen it. I'm not sure, but yeah, that's that. Uh, update. Uh, there was more thing of the update. Yeah, we should be sort of back on track, near enough. We're in the actual week of the podcast. It should be about three days out of date. Uh, this podcast, obviously, is supposed to be the 12th, but it'll probably be out on the 14th. Uh, yeah, definitely 14th. Yeah, that's Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so not too bad. So hopefully by the end of the week we should catch up. We'll talk about that later on. But yeah, back on track. Good. Now we can start to focus on some other things, which is also so, so good. Okay, so let's go on to topic close. This week's names... Right, so right now you're listening to the podcast. That is this right now. And then the next video you see will be either the next Let's Play video, if that's not already out, or it'll be Azra's Wrath, and this one's called Ultron's Wrath, because something happens and he looks just like Ultron. So that's why it's called Ultron's Wrath instead. Then after that, we've got the first Assassin's Creed 3 episode called Non Nobis Domine Non Nobis, which is Latin, I think. Uh, and it's basically, remember the first title of my Let's Plays always have something to do with the last title. For example, Bioshock 2 was Finding Eleanor, which is like Finding Nemo. And then the last one was Found Eleanor, because that's how it works. So remember the last episode of Assassin's Creed 3 will have something to do with Nom Nobis Domine Non Nobis. But we'll find that out later on. Okay, then. so then after that we will have a Azura's Raph thing called Anime Club. Um, there are DLC things for the game which are slightly different to the main game. But they are sort of the canon, and they are fit in between different episodes. So maybe that's a hint to say Anime Club uh, in that. Then after that uh, will be another Assassin's Creed video, free video called Mits, it's called Mutiny Captain. Because it's a Mutiny Captain. Uh, well, it's not technically, but we'll find out in that game. Then after that, this should be out on Friday. Hopefully if everything's caught back up. If not, it'll probably be the day after. We'll have another Azura's Wrath video. Now, I'm not sure what this is going to be called. It's going to have something to do with Frenemies. I've written down here, Frenemies, who's that? Um, but I don't think I think I didn't write it down very well, so I'm gonna have to edit it and then see what the title is called. But it's something about frenemies, and we'll obviously see what that is. And we're also gonna have an extra episode this week of Assassin's Creed Three because obviously Assassin's Creed Three has a lot of pointing involved. So we'll have no game, no pointing because 
we play some games in Assassin's Creed and it takes forever. So I've put it in a pointing episode. Yes, but that should be this week in a nutshell. Uh, also, we talk about hints now for Cup of Adventure because we're back on track-ish. Last week's one was about uh, why don't you see penguins in Britain? Uh, it's because they're afraid of whales. Like the, like the little place down there next to Britain. Across the water from Ireland, Republic of Ireland. I know, it's bad. But that was the hint. This week's hint is actually quite a fun one. I enjoy doing things like this. But this one is, um, the hint is, there are some letters hidden somewhere in the last podcast. So if you go back to that podcast and try and find these letters, uh, I'll say how many there are, there are six letters, uh, you can find them and then you have to rearrange them into the words that is of the next video. So uh, have fun. See who does it, see who does not. We shall find out. Moving on then, because we're going for this quite... Um, slowly, but there's not actually that much to talk about today. Uh, after the update, look at my list, it's names and then it's the TV time. Cool. Not really talking talk about much this week, I just want to talk about Bake Off, because that's all I've really seen. Actually, no, I've just started watching Victoria. Uh, I'll talk about two then. Bake Off, apparently it's moving to Channel 4, not BBC anymore, which is different because BBC is funded by the public. They get like funding from the government, which they in turn get from TV licences paid for by British folk. Um... And with other programmes like your ITV and your Channel 4, they don't get funding from the government, so they have to make their money through advertising, which is more common with other countries. A little bit of history there for you. Def I definitely do my uh, college course well. Um, yeah, so basically the, the fact that it's moving is so the company can actually make more money uh, from advertising on the uh, Channel 4, although Channel 4 is a very sort of not that popular TV show compared to the BBC. Um, so, you know, there's a bit of conflict about whether it's going to do well or not, but... I don't know. I mean, the more money coming in will be a good thing for the company, but I think it will not get as much views as it did. Like, it's get like that. I think the highest it's ever been is like 15 million viewers at once. And it's just, I don't think it will do that on Channel 4, but you don't care about this. This is me getting into analytical mode. But definitely back at college. And the other thing I want to talk about is this TV show called Victoria, which is on ITV, which is obviously where they get money through advertising as well. I actually quite like this. It's a uh, very drama -y. And there's a certain thing about ITV dramas, there's a certain sort of theme to them. I can't put my finger on it, but there's a certain theme about them, and it's sort of like, it's quite refreshing. Um, they're quite light-hearted in a sense, I suppose, in a way. But yeah, it's quite a good show, very historical. Not sure if it's very historical, yeah. Not sure if it's accurate, but it's very interesting. Uh, it's quite strange seeing Jenna Coleman come from Doctor Who into this. I wasn't a big fan of her character in Doctor Who. Um, but she seems to play Victoria quite well, and yeah, I'm enjoying it. I want to watch more of it. Now, moving on now to the community section. So then, let's go on to mention Monday. Uh, not many, because uh, obviously we're still catching up, I would assume, is the reason why. But this week we have four names. We have Horia, Max Ravage, 40k Warrior Man, and Andres Franco Valenti. So thank you for commenting on last week's videos, and I look forward to next week's videos. Um, maybe we might have some comments next week about the hint in last week's podcast, if anyone can find it. Okie dokie then, so moving on now to the Q&A. Two questions this week. So we have Horia who says, my question to you this week is, if you were to start a Minecraft Let's Play, what kind would you start? Vanilla, modded, survival, or a Let's Build? Never even heard of Let's Build, but uh... <laughs> Ford K. Roman says the answer for last week's riddle was Teapot, and he has a new one this week. Um, and that is, what is harder to catch the faster you run? Your breath. Because you can't catch your breath if you're exercising, which is true. Now, and that's those two questions answered very thoroughly. Mm-hmm. Very thoroughly indeed. Now, let's go on to subscribers. This week, we've sadly gone down two subscribers. It was 1,204. It's now 1,202, which is a shame. And quite surprisingly, we have not gained any new subscribers in terms of names. So, uh, yeah, that was subscribers. Now let's go on to questions. Last week's question was about what are you studying at college or university and stuff like that, because I was interested. Max Ravage said... Um, actually, hold on a second. Have I put the wrong thing in the wrong thing? I think I have. I have. Yeah, Max Ravage says uh, he used to do, or sort of does, vocational qualification in business information technology, which I had to Google because, wow. Um, apparently it's something to do with like, e-commerce, and it's like I think it's basically like data that's on the computer to do with businesses with electronic doodads, you know what I mean? I think so, anyway. That's the main gist of it I got. Uh, but he says, unfortunately, due to his impression, he's had to suspend it this year and resume next year, which is a agreed choice upon by himself and his college. Yes, so hopefully you will be feeling better, and hopefully this depression of yours um, will get better. 
that's the right thing to say, wouldn't it? Yeah, because I, I would say get rid of because I suppose you never truly get rid of anything seriously with like that, would you? But uh, hopefully it gets better. We're here for you if you need it, of course. If you ever need to speak, we are here and stuff like that. Uh, now then, now I'm getting confused because I put a little bit of a hint about this week's comment. I put that one in this week's comment on my section on my computer instead of the question, so I've had to sort of look at both. But now we're going on to this week's question. This week's question, I can't actually remember because I didn't write it down. What was it? I remember. It's Christmas presents. Have you started your Christmas shopping yet? And if so, or if you just know anyway, is there anything you're thinking about getting some other people? Or something you want for yourself? I've already started doing mine because it's cool. I can't really say what it is I'm going to be getting people because they'll be probably, one of them will at least be watching this. Um, but there's a lot of pop figures I'm getting. And yeah few cool ones one of them in particular is very cool and very very nice and great but yeah let me know if you're doing it yet or if you know anything you want or getting other people now onto this week's comment which you might have got earlier um goes to sort of two people it's more like this week's comment is sort of evolved into this week's theme or this week's you know highlights i guess we could call it i don't know maybe maybe not but yeah obviously it goes to max because obviously it doesn't obviously go to max it goes to max ravage because he says about um with the vocational qualification in business information technology um he was saying that uh, i'd google it and he says in finland he they call it uh data no me data no me data data no me which i guess is like data no me i don't know i don't know i don't actually know the finnish accent or how they pronounce things um but he's saying about that and it's like a, oh data gnome you know me on the end instead of no me um yes which i i don't know if that's the finnish word for it is that's what they call it in finland uh, but if that is the Finnish word for it, um, then it's actually quite funny because data obviously means data. And from what I've looked at from the vocational qualification in business information and technology, it's something to do with obviously data online. Online, like online data is what the gist of what I got of it. So it's quite funny how it's got the data in it. If that is the Finnish word, it's funny how like an English word for data is that, and it's kind of the same. But I think that is down to the the Vikings, obviously, when they came over. So I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken. The Finnish is probably got the same sort of origins as as Britain in terms of like that sort of sense of words with like Vikings and stuff like that. I assume I don't exactly know too well, but I'm sorry, assuming a little bit. But yeah, I think that's just very interesting. That's and I thought yeah, that was quite interesting to talk about. But like I said, this is a theme, so it's not actually just that. It's something else as well. It is Horia who says about uh, Persona Persephone. Uh, which is in the Bioshock 2, he says a pretty weird name for him because he says in Finnish, oh my god, Finnish. I thought it was Finnish. I'm glad he said actually because I was going to say, I think it's maybe Finnish, but I'm glad you said it is because I thought it was. Because um, uh, what it is, is the, the Percy, the P-E-R-S-E in Finnish, actually means bottom, but in a rude word for bottom. Um, uh, not the donkey kind, shall we say. And he was just saying that when he reads it, it's obviously it's, bo it's bottom phone which is quite funny because I think it's a weird name in its sense as well. And it's quite funny there that both of them are talking about Finnish. It was mainly because about the uh, t sort of like teaching different words from languages was like this week's theme or something. Um, and obviously it's a good sort of hint that it's both Finnish, which I didn't realise. I, I thought it was, but I'm glad that it's confirmed that as well. So that's interesting. That That's why those are this week's comments and slash themes. Anyway, cool girls. So last week's goals was to... Uh, get sorted, sort of sorted, cult up by Monday-ish or something like that. It was sort of happened. Like I said, it's, this podcast is a little bit late, but uh, it will be caught up by the next podcast definitely. That is this week's goal anyway, just to catch up properly, and hopefully that should happen, which I think it will. So that's all good. Now let's go on to the outro. <laughs> okay, so let me uh, finish this cup of tea then. Oh, the chocolate tea, which tastes rather ugh, weird. Ugh. <laughs> ugh. <laughs> ugh. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. But anyway, yes, that's it now. So I should say until the next time we meet, farewell. And I will leave you with what film? Because last week's film was Moana. It's from the trailer. And this week's film is something we're going to talk about now. <laughs> so, what film? Or I suppose in this sense, I should say, what TV show? You have failed this city. <laughs>